Well, welcome back. We are shaking things up this morning with cocktails you can put in your pocket. Joining us right now is Men's Journal correspondent and Fort Defiance restaurant owner, Sinjin Frizzell. Good to see you, Sinjin. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. Thanks so for having you me. You brought some goodies here. Your article in the March issue of Men's Journal is giving tips on the best concoctions that you can actually fit in a flask. Right. Tell us about that. Well, the idea is that, um, you know, a flasks are fun to uh, carry around um, and put whiskey in, but they're also fun to put like a cocktail in. It's a little bit uh, surprising when you're uh, sharing it with somebody. That's true, because usually you don't do a mixed drink in a flask. Right, but you can. There's no reason that you shouldn't. Okay, so what, what are your favorites? Well, um, I brought a few here today. Uh, this um, flask is filled with a, a drink called the uh, Ferrari. The Ferrari. This is a, a drink that is like a bartender's shot. In New York, it's equal parts uh, Fernet Branca and uh, Campari. Wow. And uh, okay. those are both very strong bitter uh, liqueurs, but uh, together they go really nice. Ah, and that's the Ferrari. That's okay. the Ferrari. So you'll mix it up and then you just you put it in the flask or right. you're just because you want to carry the mixed drink in the flask. That's right. Yeah, it's all mixed up and ready to go. What? I mean, what, why do people carry flasks around? I mean, what are flasks used for? Well, to me, it's, it's, um, it's a way to, uh, it's like a secret handshake. You don't uh, carry it just for yourself. You carry it to share. Ah. So it's, uh, you know, you slip it out of your pocket, you, you look at someone, you give them a little smile, a little wink, you offer them a drink, <laughs> and all of a sudden you're drinking out of the same vessel as somebody else. You don't really do that that often. That's true. Okay. Because yeah. I, oftentimes you're using it when you're going on a trip, um, but are these, you know, becoming more prevalent or becoming, uh, this resonate with people more I hope so. Recently? I think it's I think it's a uh, it's a classy thing to do. You know, you show up at a, a party or a, a camping trip or something like that with one of these in your pocket. Now I understand you have a special mornings with Maria cocktail that you created. I do. I do. Yeah. Let's I'll show see you it and hear it. About um, it. So <laughs> mornings are good. You know, sparkling wine in the mornings is great. This is a little uh, prosecco. Okay. And then the mornings with Maria is in this one. This is equal parts aperol and a combier uh, triple sec. Huh. So it's got like an orange uh, flavor and it's a little it's a little bit bitter, but uh, I think it'll be nice, let's see. Okay. <laughs> and it's nice and orange. All right, so happy mornings, cheerful, cheerful yeah. color. Yeah. And that's uh, and that's just prosecco. So it's prosecco and and the and Aperol, which is Aperol, this part, that's and the, the red stuff, which is an orange liqueur. Okay. Great, and this this we'll, we'll put in a flask, or yeah, we will see. Why so did you, you can... choose that for mornings with Maria? Well, um, I like the colors. Yeah, that's uh, good. It is a good color. For and us. Uh, yeah, it's well, Aperol is a very uh, popular uh, morning drink. There's a drink called the Aperol Spritz, oh, which is okay. Aperol and uh, Prosecco and a little uh, seltzer, and we we uh, sell a lot of those at Fort uh, Defiance. And with this, we're just upping the orange flavor a little bit to make it more like a. Mimosa. It looks good. Well, I've thank got, you for that. Cheers. I've got one more called the okay. Diamondback too. Oh, the this Diamondback. This is uh, in this nice little Filson flask. Okay. This is um, uh, rye whiskey, uh, sh yellow chartreuse, and hmm. um, also and a good Apple color. brandy. Apple brandy. Right here. Yeah. Okay. And that one, that one uh, is named after uh, a turtle, uh, the Diamondback uh, terrapin from uh, Maryland, but. It, Bites like a snake. Really good stuff. Bites like a snake. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good to see you, Sinjin. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Appreciate it very me. much. And cheers to you. We'll be right back.